RoboSkey is a chroma key filter from ISP. Once you have downloaded the application to your computer, go to the download folder, select the RoboSkey package and unzip it. Double click the unzip folder, read the license agreement and continue with the installation if you agree. Double click the EDIUS folder, run the RoboSkey license manager. In the License Manager window, make your selection. Click the Install button. After the installation is complete, you will get a notification. Now it's time to check if the installation was successful. Start EDIUS and check if the ISP folder appears. You should see three filters in the ISP folder. If your installation is successful, exit EDIUS to activate RoboSkey. Go to the folder to which you have downloaded RoboSkey, go to the For EDIUS folder and run the License Manager again. Input your serial number and choose Activate. If your activation is successful, you will get this prompt. I have green screen footage, shot on red, which was provided by Digital Juice. I will convert the video to HQX in the original frame format as this will give me the ability to zoom on the clip or resize it without losing quality in a 9020 project. The question I often get is why should I get Robus key? when EDIUS has its own chroma keyer. With some examples, you will see the benefits of RoboSkey. I have made a selection of this clip and I'll drop it on the timeline. I'll put a copy on the EDIUS key track and one on the RoboSkey track. I'll also insert a background. Let's start by applying the EDIUS chroma key keyer to the clip on the EDIUS key track. I select the key color and exit. Then I apply Robus key to the clip on the Robus key track. Let's look at the key. We will look specifically at the fine details of the hair. Robuski leaves the strands of hair intact and is so much better with fine details. Let's check the Adias native gear. As you can see, it is not as good with fine detail. Let's get back to Robuski. If this was your final key, and you were happy with it, you could export the key footage to an HQ or HQX file with an alpha channel. This is very handy for real-time playback or if you need to take this clip to a system which doesn't have robust key. After you have exported the clip, you can check in the bin if a clip has alpha by putting the bin in detail view and adding the alpha column. You can also check this on the timeline by inserting a clip and putting a backdrop underneath. I'll do the same export with the EDIUS native key. This time, the alpha channel is not passed through. The reason is that the EDIUS native chroma key filter does not support a new alpha as you can see in this pop-up. Included with Robus key is clip alpha. To demonstrate what this does, I'll reduce the clip with layouter and create a blue border around it. Apply the clip alpha and select the key color. The clip alpha automatically creates a garbage mat. After you have applied the clip alpha filter, 
you apply the Robust Key Blue, or in this case, Green Filter, to finalize the key. The Clip Alpha Filter can take out light stands or hands holding your chroma background. Since Robust Key is a filter, not a keyer, I can apply filters after it without causing problems with my key. I'll apply the Color Balance Filter and add color to the subject. As you can see, the color adjustment only affects my subject. The key stays as I have set it. Let's do the same for the native chroma key filter. As you can see, the key gets broken. This is because Adias processes the filters before the keyer. Now let's try a transition. With Robus Key, I can transition the key with all effects applied to the clip. If I drag a transition to the clip with the Adias keyer, the chroma key gets replaced by the transition, and this is not what you would want. As you have seen, this can easily be done with a Robus Key. If you do a lot of green or blue screen work, it's a good idea to get Robus Key.